Hi everyone, welcome back to Heavenly Dates. Today I want to teach you my language, Shitsonga. Please stop saying Shangani, it's not that. Shitsonga, or maybe in short, Tsonga. That's what I'm going to be teaching you today to kind of like impress your in-laws, your beau, your friends, even yourself. Just learn something new in this quarantine. The first thing that I'm going to teach you is greetings. How to greet a person, informal and formal. Informal would be when you're talking to your bestie, you know, your people, your girls, your boys boys uh your man you could totally use this like okay if i'm trying to say hello hey girl you would say ya thingywe ya lerato ya insert the name you know that is the informal part of it the second part which is the formal part is the more respectful talking to an elder older something like that so you would say in a place of hello or ya you would say that I was shiny in the morning then in the afternoon you would say in Legani. then in the evening you would say Riberil. make sense let's start all over you would say in the morning when you're trying to greet somebody who is older than you or maybe if you are just a respectful person who would love to use this in the morning I was shiny which means you just woke up or it's just between you know during the a.m.s then in the afternoon you would say in meaning it's afternoon then evening you would say so a lot of people use i as um the first thing that you say but it usually comes after or um so what you would say after that the response would be I don't really want to make this too formal formal because I'm trying to get you accustomed to the language as quick as possible so in the place of how are you I would say I would say that but how it's actually said is they have we have that emphasis of nzi but you know in speaking we say nipukile minja now i want to teach you something there minjani can be for a lot of people which is plural or it could be that you're talking to somebody who is older than you but if it's just you and i maybe we are around the same age and you i'm greeting you and you are responding you would say nzifukile kunjani the second category is the introduction, just telling somebody who you are. So if you are the one asking the question, you would say, Vito Rawena Iman or Imani Vito. Short. If you're responding, you would say, Vito Ramina I, insert your name. For example, Imani Vito Rawena, Vito Ramina I, Klingiwe. See that? Where are you from? Uwuma Kui. Your response. Numa, so and so. You insert the name. For example, Uma Gui, Numa Gian. Pleased to meet you. Nzitzakela Kukutiva. Nzitzakela Kukutiva. Have a nice day. Uva na siku rakash. Uva na siku rakash. Please say this with me as you watch the video if you don't know the language. When you want to say yes or no, you would say Ea o I. In an example, did you like this video? A or I, meaning yes, no, or maybe, which means kumbeshan, kumbeshan. Or when you really, really don't know, you could just say anishtib, anishtib. That's just about it for today and these are just like the basics. I'm, I promise I'm going to get in depth with this so you can have a real conversation okay a clear one i would just you know advise you work on your accent accent is everything especially in these african languages work on that of course if you like this video please give it a thumbs up like comment and subscribe down below and i'll see you next time i love you god loves you bye